What's up you guys? It's Adana and I am back with another what to expect in your seventh week of PA school. Guys, I have just completed my seventh week of PA school. Oh my gosh! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm so, it's so, it's so amazing and crazy you guys. I cannot believe it and I know you guys hear this from me every week I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this up but I literally cannot believe it every time I complete a week of PA school because it's just been such a desire of mine for a pretty long time um, so it's just kind of surreal that it's happening right now um, but before I get into everything about PA school I wanted to say a special thank you to all of you oh my goodness we are two over 200 subscribers strong thank you guys so much for that really Really, really appreciate it if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to this page if you really like the content that you're seeing um, and thank you guys so much for supporting me I will leave my GoFundMe um, link in the description box below thank you for all of you who have um, given and have kind of put me a little step closer to staying into PA school you guys are amazing so thank you guys so much for that um so last week or this my seventh week of PA school I had did I have two tests I think I had like two tests every week I had two tests one of them was patho and the other was intro intro to the profession and they were pretty okay the intro to the profession one was kind of like I don't know it was like up in the air everybody kind of walked out of there feeling like um what what were we what were we just tested on like I mean we have to know about our profession but at the same time it was just some of the questions were worded a little weird but you know people did well so I think everybody's kind of like over it it is a one credit course so I don't think they're stressing too much over that so it was a pretty light week so it it's kind of it was a breather and um, I was I really needed it because we have so much information that we have to learn you guys seven weeks of school have been completed and I've already gone through I don't know over 50 infectious diseases maybe 10 or so endocrinology diseases like we talked about different parasitic diseases bacterial diseases fungal diseases um, and infect well, infections, talked about Addison's, Cushing's, diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, SIADH. We talked about DERM, that's the module that we just completed. I have a test on that tomorrow and it's so much information. You guys don't even really think about how many different things can happen to the skin and what the skin really is in terms of our barrier. So we learned about all these different exanthems. We learned about like contact dermatitis, which is what you think about when you think of poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac. So it's been a lot. Like I really sound knowledgeable and I guess I, I kind of am, but it's just so much information. Like you don't realize how much you're retaining. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you really like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you really like what you see, go ahead and um, be sure to hit up my GoFundMe page, it will be left in the description box below. I really am grateful for you guys joining me on this journey. Thanks again, see you next week.